Hey y'all, welcome back to Twin Oaks Family Farm in rural Southeast Ohio, USA. Doing a watch it later Wednesday, actually between tasks, between jobs, and I'm gonna go check eggs when I'm done with this one, but we wanna get the watch it later Wednesday video done for today, Wednesday, October 10th, 2024. Thanks for, it's not October 10th, and I'm not gonna stop the video. We're not gonna make a blooper reel. It's October 9th, 2024, but it is a Wednesday, so it is time for Watch It Later Wednesday. I think this is our 14th episode of Watch It Later Wednesday, so actually going to share four videos with you today, video recommendations off of my own Watch Later list. I'll put links to them in the description and in the comments. These are really geared at people who are raising chickens, and I'll tell you about what kind of chickens each video is kind of geared toward and a little bit of my first impressions off of those videos so thanks for joining me gonna try to make this one kind of short and sweet kind of quick um chicken coop for fifty dollars and one hour to build is the first video that i'm going to share a link for you it was actually uploaded about eight years ago 2016 on the channel off grid with doug and stacy Many or most of you have probably already heard of that channel, maybe already follow that channel, or maybe did at one point in time. It is a pretty huge channel, a million plus viewers. That video itself has had six million views in the time that it's been uploaded. It's about 11 and a half minutes long, and really it's a great demonstration video. You actually see kind of time lapse of Doug, one of the hosts, building a chicken coop for meat production type chickens and so what he builds gives me the impression of like a chicken coop that would be somewhat mobile or portable for them that might actually be in potentially a bigger enclosure like a pasture but he does a good job giving you a time-lapse demonstration of what he's building and they do a neat introduction lead into it and then they have the demonstration of him actually building this and he then talks about how it was like a $50 project because they were able to utilize a lot of things that they already have around their place and it was like a one hour project for him because he's gained experience with carpentry projects and with homestead projects uh, so keep that in mind and then toward the end of the video he talks a little bit about their use of this coop and you actually get to see him take little meat chickens from a wooden poultry transport crate and place them into the coop that he built. So a uh, couple things to keep in mind. He does make it look super, super, super easy. And uh, it gives the impression of being a super quick project, which I'm sure it is a relatively quick project, but a couple things to keep in mind. If you had to go to different places and gather materials, that would take a little more time and if you don't have a lot of experience with carpentry that could cause it to be a project that would take you longer than an hour but i think it's a, a great video i think it's a great example of a chicken coop that is appropriate for a small group of meat production type chickens so it's not the type of chicken coop where it's like a brooder setup you're not starting hatchling chicks in it but meat chicks that are probably at about, uh, from what I could estimate seeing the birds in the video, probably at about a two week old stage could go in there. And the coop itself would probably be fairly versatile. You could probably come up with some other uses for it after you were done possibly using it for those particular chickens. Or if you just have some other brainstorm for what it would be great for in your own routine and operation okay so that'll be the first one chicken coop for fifty dollars and one hour to build then there's another video that's also a chicken coop that's more or less a diy project that uh you might have to go get new materials for or you could possibly have the materials at your place uh if you have other livestock projects going on that you could repurpose for this but this video is called a hoop coop for our new chickens. This was uploaded four years ago on another really huge channel called Living Traditions Homestead. That channel itself has about 828,000 subscribers to it. And that video, a hoop coop for our new chickens, 
has about 3 million views. It's about 18 minutes long. This is a larger coupe than the one seen in the first video I'm suggesting this week. Uh, this is probably a coupe more suited to egg production chickens. It's also more suited to being used uh, in terms of being able to walk into it and stand up right inside of it. So, uh, you know, maybe where you're interacting with the chickens more, such as egg production chickens, where you are wanting to gather eggs from them. So, um, there's a companion video to it as well. I think I did copy the link and we'll try to include it called the chickens move into the hoop coop and then as you kind of scroll through some of uh, the videos on that channel living traditions homestead as you kind of scroll through some of the videos there's actually multiple videos about this hoop coop about uh, them making it about its use about their own feedback on it and their experience with it so it is a great diy coop option it's fairly involved. Uh, the video that I'm recommending, the ho a hoop coop for our new chickens, actually shows some time-lapse demonstration of them building it, gives feedback from the host talking about the coop and their construction plans on it. Uh, and so you do end up seeing they basically kind of build it out of cattle panels and then they um, put chicken wire around the outside at some point and then I read through some comments and one viewer made a comment that I do agree with where there's only cattle panel and chicken wire in addition you may want to include smaller mesh like um, hard finer mesh hardware cloth or hardware mesh because actually predators like raccoons can are dexterous enough that they can actually reach their paws you know into chicken wire and if they can swipe a chicken's neck and pull it through chicken wire they actually can still be a really serious predator risk to your chickens even through chicken wire so uh, that's something to consider but the hosts actually do you know talk about predator risk and, and minimizing that and have an awareness of that at, at one point in the videos uh, they also, I think in addition to the cattle panel and the chicken cloth, a big portion of the hoop hoop is also covered in like another additional material that would give some weather protection from rain and from direct sunlight that would really help your chickens cope with the environmental ambient weather conditions. So they need a little bit of protection from those extremes as well, even our egg production chickens. So they're just, those videos are just examples of some do-it-yourself chicken coop ideas that are kind of semi-permanent, probably portable, more or less um, easy to assemble with some planning and uh, kind of go, you know, from a range of the, the one hour $50 mostly repurposed materials to, you know, a bigger, bigger coop um, that you may have to go buy the materials for. It's going to take you a little longer to build. So that's, that's three links that I'm going to include. This fourth one, I'm going to kind of try to do this by memory. I do better with pen and paper. That's kind of where my memory lives, but you know, I mean, I'm, I've got enough real estate up there filled with numbers and dates and information that I really like to rely on pen and paper for my memory. But here we go, we'll try this. So on my watch it later list, I had a um, Beyond, and, and it has gone right out of my head. So it's a Joel Salatin clip um, on a, a podcast, Beyond Labels. Beyond Labels podcast, and it's a Joel Salatin clip and it addresses homesteading perfection and i love the clip i think it's shorter than 10 minutes the clip itself maybe has a thousand views i do have a link for it that i'm going to include but it's a beyond labels podcast joel salatin homesteading perfection i think is is what it's called but i love it joel salatin does a great job with storytelling and with sharing his experience through storytelling that draws you in and is relatable and I really think you'll like it. So of the four, if you, you know, if you want specific chicken coop ideas, the, uh, the Doug and Stacy one is probably my pick or the, the first one um, from Living Traditions Homestead 
about, you know, just the, the one titled a hoop coop for our new chickens. But if you're not specifically interested in chicken housing, I would, I would definitely recommend go watch the Joel Salatin clip from that Beyond Labels podcast where he addresses perfectionism uh, in homesteading because it applies to perfectionism in anything, you know, the it boils down to the essence of his message there he doesn't say this in so many words but comparison is the thief of joy and so you know dream your dreams figure out how to turn your dreams into reality figure out where you want to pivot or adjust from your own dreams and live those and you know the i like this watch it later wednesday episodes that we're doing this series because I'm actually using my own watch it later list on my YouTube app and going through there and I'm kind of picking and choosing videos off of there to watch and review and, and talk to y'all about but uh, you know I like that I'm I'm taking those off of there and and kind of cleaning up that watch it later list that I've just you know used like a revolving file on my YouTube app but the, the thing is, what's really important isn't what we're watching. What's really important in life is what we're doing. And, you know, what we're doing springs from what we're thinking. And if we're watching all the time, we're never dreaming, we're never thinking, we're never planning, we're never doing. So, you know, find the balance, absolutely find the balance between what, what is being watched and what is being done and you know I, I love the concept of intentionality it's something I'm addressing in my life want to address in 2025 do you really embrace intentionality in your life but by the same token it's okay to embrace spontaneity too and they seem contradictory but we need both for balance in our lives and and in that clip from Joel Salatin I love to hear him express you know how uh if we want to be perfect, it stops us from attempting. And he expresses it really well. And so for me, that goes right hand in hand with, you know, also if we're always watching and always comparing, we aren't dreaming and we aren't realizing the things that we want to actualize in life. So, so I encourage you, you know, if you want to check out any of those, check them out. Uh, but I, I highly encourage, let's all make sure that we're, we're striking a balance between watching and, and living, watching and doing, you know, and don't let, don't let the watching be the thief of actually being out there doing and, and living. So thanks for joining us at Twin Oaks Family Farm on Twin Oaks Farm Poultry. We do appreciate your support of our channel. Thank you for watching. We know it takes time and effort to watch, comment, support our channel, and we greatly appreciate it.